I make elderberry tea for my kids during the colder months and they love it, but it gets a little bit pricey. So I decided to make my own elderberry syrup, which definitely saves me money, but then I also get to choose which ingredients I use. Stay tuned, you do not want to miss this one today. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome, welcome to the Organics channel. I'm so happy you're here today, where we gather together in the kitchen every week and we create delicious and nutritious recipes. Today, we are going to be making a wellness elderberry syrup and tea. Let's begin by adding four cups of filtered water to a medium-sized pot. Next, the star of this recipe, one cup of dried organic elderberries, which are rich in antioxidants and have anti-inflammatory properties. Bring your water to a boil, and then reduce the heat to a gentle simmer. Continue simmering your elderberries for 20 minutes. Remove your pot from the heat, and now let's add in two tablespoons of freshly grated ginger root, or one half of a teaspoon of ground ginger, two tablespoons of freshly grounded turmeric root, or one half of a teaspoon of ground turmeric, one teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, or two cinnamon sticks, six organic whole cloves, and about an inch by four inches of organic orange peel. Give it a good stir and then cover with a lid and steep for another 20 to 40 minutes, infusing your elderberry syrup with all of those nutrients. Pour your syrup through a fine mesh strainer and then using a spoon, press out as much of the juice as you can from the elderberries. So you could also use a nut milk bag to do this, the bottom of a jar. I even got my hands in there and pressed out as much juice as I could. Add your elderberry goodness to a glass container and then add in one half to one cup of raw honey. Whisk in your honey really well and then store in the refrigerator for up to two weeks or the freezer for up to two months. I wanted to share with you the elderberry tea recipe that I make for my kids during the winter season. They absolutely love it. I heat up some water, add it to the mug, along with one to two tablespoons of elderberry syrup, the juice of half of a lemon, and then a little bit of honey to taste. So I want to give this a taste with the homemade elderberry syrup. So good and so healthy for you. I just love it. So then also you have this amazing elderberry syrup that we made together today. What are some other ways that you can enjoy it? You can pour it right over your oatmeal. You could add it to your coffee, to your favorite tea. You could have it all on its own as a shot maybe in the morning and also in the afternoon. You could add it to your favorite smoothie even. So I wanted to give it a taste all on its own and let you know what it tastes like. Nice and sweet. Oh, I love all of those spices we added in there. It is delicious. Anyway, you have it. It is a winner. Definitely give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, take great care of yourself this week and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.